Hi there and welcome back. In the previous video we added the ability of adding points when the player avoids obstacles and the challenge was to add points for the other obstacles as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can add points for the other obstacles by dragging the point and scaling it. The other option is to duplicate the existing one. And in build box, if you want to duplicate to the right direction, you use D. If you want to duplicate in the upward direction, you use W. If you want to duplicate to the left, you use A. And if you want to duplicate to the bottom, you use S. And we want to duplicate to the right, so we'll use D. And let's use D again. And there we go. We've configured the other obstacles to have the points. And now we're ready to display the points into our UI. If we click preview right now and play the game, we don't see any points displayed anywhere. And the reason is we haven't added that support yet. To add the support for displaying points into our UI, we can go back to our mind map. And that's the first view that we saw when we started the new game. And it's this icon right here. Once we click on that, we get our mind map view. And in this view, like we mentioned before, you have the ability of displaying the UI. There's two options of adding a UI. You can either use the node list on the left side to drag the UI screen in, or you can right click on your mouse and add a new UI screen. Once we added the UI screen, now we can connect our 2D world UI to load our UI screen. Now we've configured the mind map to display our UI screen. To edit the UI screen, we can double click on UI screen or click the edit button. So let's double click on the UI screen and we enter the UI screen editor. The UI workspace is similar to the world workspace. To display points in our UI for our game, we can use the default label node that can be found in our asset panel and we can drag that and drop it into our UI screen and we can place it about in the center. We can rename from default font to points. And in our options, we also have a function option. Currently it's set to user text. And if we click and see what options we have, we have user text and score. And we want the function score. So let's click on score. Once we do that, our options change here and we can see all of these options. And for score type, we have points and that's what we want. And for amount, it's set to best. And if we take a look, we have the options of best, current and total, and we want to use the current. After we do that, the UI is configured and we can preview now. And you can see we start with zero. Once we pass one of our points, we get our point. And once we pass another one, we get more points. Now that we see that our points are working, we can remove that white rectangle. And we can do that by going to our points and selecting the animation node and hitting delete on our keyboard. Once we do that, we no longer see those rectangles in our game, but we're still getting the points that we were getting from that asset. If you got all of this working now, you are ready to continue to the next video. And in the next video, we're gonna add the ability of getting defeated if we collide with an obstacle or the ground.